Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well and we're going to bring you a little Action PC Hockey 2020 and it's the best of the 70s league. It's the 1979-80 Hartford Whalers taking on the 1970-71 Boston Bruins at the Garden. I'll be playing as my beloved Hartford Whalers. To the ice we go as it's almost time to drop the puck. For the Whalers, this is how they'll start off the game. At left wing, Blaine Stoughton, four goals and an assist. The Whalers are 2-1-0. Oh. The Bruins are 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Mike Rogers is the center. He has a goal and three assists. Gordy Howe has two goals at right wing. His son Mark Howe is a left defenseman. One goal, three assists, and two, uh, I believe those are penalty minutes. Al Sims is the right defenseman with an assist. And John Garrett will be between the pipes. As Whalers goaltending at times can be quite frightening. For the Boston Bruins, who are looking for the second win of their season in this best of 70s league, John Busick's at left wing, two goals and four assists. At center, Phil Esposito, two goals, four assists. Kenny Hodge is at right wing, four goals, three assists. Bobby Orr, the left defenseman, four assists. Dallas Smith is the right defenseman. And in net for the Bruins, Jerry Cheevers. Uh, again, I'll be playing as the Hartford Whalers. The Boston Bruins will be controlled by the Action PC Sim Engine. To the ice we go here in Boston. Rogers to do battle in the face-off circle against, I would assume, Phil Esposito. And we're going to play aggressive. And we say yes. Esposito and Rogers battles. Rogers wins the faceoff, pokes it towards Stoughton, and the Whalers give it away. Bruins control. Puck goes to Bobby Orr. Orr is going to put the shot on net. Save by Garrett. Puck loose in front. Bruins control. Esposito sends it to Hodge. Hodge from the perimeter shoots. Save Garrett. And again, the Bruins control. They work the puck around. Esposito's going to go for the wraparound. Save! Garrett, he covers it up. Oh, my Lord. Boy, did the Bruins put on a charge against Garrett. But he stopped them all. On the ice for the Whalers now, Douglas, Roberts, Keehan, Lee, and Allenson. Keehan is in the face-off circle in the Hartford zone. And we're going to play balanced. It's Keehan and Stanfield. Keehan wins it, knocks it back towards Douglas. Up ice come the Whalers, but they lose the puck. And here come the Bruins. Back with Green, Stanfield, Westfall, Carlton, and McKenzie. It's McKenzie with the puck. He puts the shot. Blocked by Roberts. Keehan controls for the Whalers. Whalers try to get through center ice, and they lose the puck at center ice. Bailey has it for the Bruins. Bruins. Work it into the zone. They lose it. Up ice come the Whalers. It's Fotiu, Howe, that's Mark Howe, Johnston, Warner, and Sims. The puck goes from Howe to Johnston, back to Howe. Slap shot by Howe, son of Gordy. Save, Cheevers. Bruins come away with it. Up ice they come quickly. They lose the puck in the Whalers zone. Johnston controls for Hartford. Hartford on the counter they work the puck to foot to you as how gave him a nice pass foot to you is going to try to penetrate here bailey and marcott trying to close in on him gets it to johnston and saves so a save by cheevers he covers it up 1647 to go in the first period no score here in boston douglas Keehan and Allenson up front for the Whalers. Roberts and Lee are the defensemen. 
Kean does battle with Sanderson. Sanderson wins it, knocks the puck towards Cheevers. And up ice come the Bruins, but sloppy play, and they give it away. And it's Allison who gains the zone for the Whalers. Kean battling green in front of Cheevers. Allison shoots. Saved by Cheevers. And again, they blow the whistle. Face off in the Bruins zone with 16-16 to play in the first period. Again, it will be Kean, Douglas, and Allenson. Up front, Roberts and Lee, your defensemen. They drop the puck. Kean battles Esposito. Esposito knocks it to Busick. Up ice come the Bruins. It's Smith, Ari, Hodge, Busick, and Esposito. It's a little give and go with Hodge and Esposito. Esposito has it. Kean closes on him. Esposito shoots. Save. Garrett, puck is loose. Puck is loose. Roberts has it. Quickly up ice come the Whalers. And the Whalers, uh, Douglas goes down in the corner. He keeps the puck. He's going to look for Kean in the middle. The pass on Kean's stick. He shoots. Saved by Cheevers. He stones Kean. But the Bruins cannot clear the zone. And again, they get the puck to Douglas. Douglas behind the net. Hodge and Smith close in. They're going to look for Allenson in the middle. Allenson has it. Busick bothering him. Allenson shoots. He scores! What a shot by Allenson! Unbelievable, and the Whalers go up one nothing. Somewhere in Hartford, you hear Brass Bonanza. But we're in Boston. That's the second goal for Allenson on the season. Assist number two for Douglas and number three for Kean. one nothing Hartford. On the ice is the first line for the Whalers, Stoughton, Rogers, and Howe. That's Gordy, and then Mark Howe and Al Sims, the defensemen. So Rogers will do battle with Stanfield. They drop the puck. Stanfield wins it, knocks it back towards Green. It's Carlton, Westfall, Stanfield, and Green. McKenzie battling Mark Howe and Al Sims in front of Garrett. The puck goes to Carlton. Carlton is going to put the shot towards Garrett. Garrett saves, and he covers up. The whistle blows. Face-off in the Whaler zone with 15.06 to play in the first period. 1-0 Hartford. Johnston will do battle in the face-off circle for the Whalers. It's Fortiu, Hangselbin, Hodgson, and Warner. We'll give you the Bruins in a moment. We're going to go balanced. It's Esposito and Johnston. Johnston wins it, knocks it to Hodgson. Hodgson comes up ice. They work it into the Bruins zone. Now the puck goes to Johnson behind the net. The Bruins have Hodge and Esposito, Smith and Busick, and Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr bothering Johnston. Johnston looking, looking, looking. He's going to look for Warner in the middle. He cannot get it. Orr puts a good hit on him, and the Bruins come away with the puck. It's Esposito. Esposito zigzagging up ice. Esposito with it. Esposito puts a shot on Garrett. Wide of Garrett. And the Whalers come away with it. It's Hangselbin. Aggressive counterattack. Whalers get through the zone. Antovich has it behind the net. Orr closes in on him. So it's Antovich, Lacroix, Dubol, Hangselbin, and Hodgson. He's going to look for Hot, um, Hodgson on the outside. Can get, we get the pass to him. He's going to put the shot on. Dubol trying to screen Cheevers. Blocked by Bobby Orr. Bruins come away with it. Through center ice. Orr, Cashman, Sanderson, Westfall. The puck goes to Smith. Smith winds up. He shoots. Blocked by Antovich. There's a scrum for the puck. And DeBold of the Whalers has it. Up ice come the Hartford Whalers. They get through center ice. And there's a whistle on Ari of the Bruins. Ari, two minutes for tripping. Two minutes for tripping. Here in Boston, we have Golden Eagle 99 and John Karin, I, uh, or Sarin. I hope I pronounced your name right. I apologize if I don't. And he says, my whalers. And Golden Eagle says, hello. Hope both of you are doing well. Check out Golden Eagle 99's YouTube channel. On the ice for the Whalers, Douglas, Johnston, Gordy Howe, Plum, and Lee will give you the Bruins in a moment. We are on the power play. 
The puck drops. Sanderson Johnson battles for it. Sanderson has it. Bruins try to clear. They can't. A big hit keeps it in their zone. The puck goes to Douglas now along the back boards. Smith trying to disrupt him. They're going to go to the middle to the old man, Gordie Howe. Gordie Howe shoots. Block out in front of Cheevers. But again, the Bruins cannot clear. And Johnson has it behind the net. Johnson looking, 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 looking for Lee on the outside. Lee winds up. He takes a shot. Save. Cheevers' puck is loose. The scrum once again goes to the Whalers. The puck goes to Gordie Howe. Gordie Howe's going to look for Douglas in the middle. He has Douglas. Douglas, quick shot, and it's wide of Cheevers, and it goes up and over the ice. Gillis Thibault is here. He says, hi, Al. And John says, Saragin. It's a it's a tough Italian name. Saragin. A fellow Paisan. I apologize, John, for the mispronunciation. Saragin. Beautiful name. Thank you for joining us. All right. 12-24 to play. In the first period, one nothing Whalers. If you're just joining us, we'll tell you how the goal was made once I figure out how to do that again. Oh, box score. Here we go. Box score. And let's go to... Oh, there it is. Scoring summary. Allenson had, he picked up his second goal, assisted by Douglas's second of the year and Keehan his third. Back to the game we go. Rogers, Allenson, Stoughton... Hangzel, Ben, and Roberts on the power play for the Whalers. We'll give you the Bruins in a moment. Rogers does battle with Derek Sanderson. Sanderson knocks it back towards Bobby Orr. And can they clear? They do. They knock it all the way down the Hartford zone. Quickly, the Whalers come up ice. It's a give and go from Stoughton to Allenson. Allenson puts the shot. Blocked out in front. A lot of traffic out in front of Cheevers. Orr clears all the way down the ice. And the Whalers will re regroup with 17 seconds left on the power play. They will have one last charge. And it begins with Stoughton. Can they get through center ice? They do, but a big hit. A big hit by Bobby Orr. And the Bruins have the puck. Teams at even strength. It's Orr and the Bruins through center ice, but they're a little too anxious. Offsides, offsides on Hodge. Face-off just outside the the Whalers' zone. As Gillis Thibault says, I miss Brass Bonanza. I love Brass Bonanza. On the ice for the Whalers with 11-11 to play in the first period. Lacroix, Thibault, Antovich, Roberts, and Lee. We'll give you the Bruins in a moment. We're going to play balanced. Esposito wins the face-off, knocks it to Kenny Hodges. And again, the Bruins are offsides. So again, the faceoff just outside the Hartford Whalers zone. Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordy Howe up front. Hengselbin and Hodgson are the defensemen for the Whalers. We're going to go aggressive. Rogers does battle with Stanfield. Stanfield wins it, knocks it back towards Carlton. On the ice for the Bruins, Carlton. Green, Stansfield, Westfall, McKenzie. McKenzie battles Hodgson out in front. It's a give and go. Stanfield sends it to Westfall. Rich shot on net. And it's redirected wide. Redirected wide. Gordy Howe has it. Up center ice and they're going at it. Hazelbin and Green have dropped their gloves and they pound away. And both will go off and they're just going to call it roughing. I guess the gloves stayed on. Two minutes for Hazelbin, two minutes for Green for roughing. With 10.25 to play in a very chippy first period. It's 1-0 Hartford here in Boston. On the ice for the Whalers. Douglas, Keehan, and Allenson up front. Mark Howe and Al... Is it Al Sims? Al Sims, the defenseman. Again, we'll give you the Bruins in a moment. We're going to go normal on the faceoff. It's Stanfield and Keehan. Stanfield wins it, knocks it back to Smith. Dallas Smith with the puck, up ice they come. It's Carlton Orr, McKenzie, and Stanfield. Orr to McKenzie to Carlton. Carlton fakes the pass, puts the shot on Garrett, but it's blocked by Keehan. Mark Howe has the puck, and here comes the counterattack aggressively by the Whalers. 
Whalers up ice. They gain the zone, but a big pop. Dallas Smith puts a big pop on the Whalers. I believe it was Keehan, and then it was McKenzie comes over. He gets the puck, but a sloppy play back and forth, and the Whalers have it in their own zone. Line change pending for both teams. Up ice come the Whalers. They get through center ice, but now they give the puck away, and it's a rush. It's a rush for the Bruins. Leach coming in on Garrett. He shoots. He scores! The Bruins have tied it up, so the sloppy play gives the lead away, and the Bruins now tie it at one with 9.06 to play in the first period. Leach with his first goal of the season. And the assist goes to Bailey. That's his first assist. John uh, Sarajin says, I've been on the fence about buying PC Action Hockey. I'll pull the trigger soon, I'm sure. I have baseball and football. Well, they've, they've uh, the animation's better now for the hockey. And that's what I look for in the Action PC games. I think the sim engines are just fine. And again, you can question every sim engine. You know, play the games you like. I play a lot of different games on my channel because um, I enjoy them. I enjoy, you know, a variety of games. Uh, they've done a marvelous job with the animation, the chalkboard for basketball. It's absolutely marvelous. Um, so I, I do, and there's a huge sale now. It's a Christmas sale. So check it out if you're interested in action PC uh, sports games on the Dave on Dave Cook's, obviously, the Action PC site. Big, big sales. A lot of bang for your buck. So it's 1-1 on the ice for the Whalers. Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordy Howe up front. Mark Howe and Hodgson, the defensemen. The Bruins in a moment. We're going to go aggressive. Rogers battles Esposito, and Esposito wins it, knocks it back towards Busick. Bruins with the puck. It's hot. They lose the puck. And back and forth, sloppy play. Who has the puck? And it's going to be, my God, tremendous hot potato, that puck. The Whalers come away with it in the Bruins zone, finally. Back and forth they went. Let's give you the teams. As it's been frenetic action, Hodge, Smith, Esposito, Busick, and Westfall on the ice for the Bruins. For the Whalers, Keen, Douglas, Allenson, Roberts, and Lee. Roberts gets the puck from Keen. He winds up. He shoots. Oh, Cheever, Cheevers with the save. And he looks into the glove. And yes, you still have it, Jerry. 7.59 to play in the first period. We're knotted at one. John Saragin says, love PC Action Baseball. Finishing up my 1976 Orioles replay using it. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Oh, Reggie Jackson, the only year with the Orioles. I think you posted that or or or, um, or said something. I think when we ha I had it was on with um, Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett, Uncle Dave and Uncle Ron in their chat. I'm almost positive. It sounds very familiar now. So here we go on the ice for the Whalers for the faceoff in the Bruins zone. Fort to you, Johnston, Warner, Hangselbin, and Hodgson. We'll give you the Bruins after they drop the puck. It's Esposito. Johnston wins the faceoff. Warner has it. A delayed penalty coming up. So Busick, Esposito, or Smith and Hodge. Busick tries to close in on Warner. He takes the shot wide of Cheevers. And Esposito's going off as the Bruins touch the puck. Esposito, two minutes for hooking. So once again, the Whalers go on the power play. This is their second power play. And it'll be Douglas, Johnston, and Gordy Howe. Hangs will been in Roberts. We'll give you the penalty kill in a moment. Power play for the Whalers. 7.43 in the first period. Sanderson loses the faceoff. Johnson pokes it towards Douglas. Douglas over to Hagselbin. Hagselbin back into Johnson. Johnson shoots. Douglas out in front. Redirect wide of Cheevers. But the Bruins cannot clear the zone. Johnson has the puck behind the net. Green trying to disrupt him. Not a lot of good options here. Whalers set up the pass. 
And again, Johnson gets it behind the zone. Bruins with their four men continue to rotate to try to not get a good shot. Gordy Howe crashing towards the net. Johnson will try to get the shot. The pass to Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe, point blank range. Save, Cheevers. What a save by Cheevers. But the Bruins cannot clear the zone. And again, it's Johnson with the puck behind the net. He's going to look for Roberts, his best option to the outside. Roberts winds up. He shoots. Blocked by Ari out in front. Bruins still cannot clear. Whalers maintain the puck in the Bruins zone. 104 left and counting on the penalty to Phil Esposito. They're going to look for Douglas in the middle. Douglas being disrupted by Marcotte. Douglas shoots. Blocked by Ari again out in front. But the Whalers come away with the puck. Johnston. Johnston. Being harassed by Ari. Sends it to the middle to Hasselbin. Hasselbin shoots. A lot of traffic. Doesn't get through. Johnston with a quick shot. Save, Cheevers. And the Bruins clear it. 22 seconds. 22 seconds left on the penalty to Esposito. My God, the Whalers peppered the net. But couldn't get anything by Cheevers. Great defense. And a couple of good saves by Cheevers. The last charge for the power play by the Whalers, and they give it away. Bruins have it. Westfall with the puck, and we're now at full strength with 5.43 left in the first period. On the ice for the Bruins, Westfall, Orr, Smith, Esposito, and Hodge. For the Whalers, Allenson, Sims, Markow, Rogers, and Stoughton. Bruins come up ice. Can they get through center ice? Yes, they do. And Stoughton will be called, there's a whistle, hooking, as Esposito was trying to get by him, Stoughton hooked him with the stick, that's a no-no folks, two minutes for hooking, and the Bruins will have their first power play and a chance to take the lead with 521, 529 excuse me, to play in the first period, and with that, I'm going to take a sip of water, <clears throat> hope everyone's doing well. If you didn't watch, we had a Rock'em Sock'em Boston Yanks football game using Pro Strategy Football 2021. It was a lot of fun. Had a good crowd and a fun game. That was our earlier stream. All right, on the ice for the Whalers. Lee, Kean, and LaCroix and Sims will try for the penalty kill. We'll give you the Bruins power play after they drop the puck. We're going to play clear. Bruins are on the power play. Esposito, Hodge, Busick. Smith, that's Dallas Smith and Bobby Orr. Esposito wins it, sends it back to Busick. Busick shoots, blocked out in front. And the Whalers are able to knock it to center ice. Bruins quickly regain the zone. Busick again puts a shot, blocked by Sims out in front. Kean has it, and Kean will try to clear. He cannot. Bruins keep it in. Whalers rotate their defensemen in that manner to try to keep pressure off Garrett the goal the goalie Esposito is fed the puck and now he gives it to Busick Busick shoots save Garrett the puck is loose out in front but the Whalers poke it out to center ice quickly the Bruins gain the zone Busick to Dallas Smith Smith shoots wide of Garrett Busick wins the battle on the board LaCrux trying to keep him off balance Busick shoots Save! Hodge cannot pop it back in. 27 seconds left on the power play. Orr has the puck. He shoots. He scores! Number four, Bobby Orr. And it's 2-1 to one Bruins. So the Bruins succeed where the Whalers couldn't. They score on the advantage. Bobby Orr, that's his first goal of the year in the best of the 70s league. And the fifth assist for Johnny Busick. 2-1 Bruins, 3.42 to play in the first period. First um, on the ice for the Whalers, Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordie Howe. The defensemen, Hangselbin and Hodgson. We're going to play aggressive. Rogers does battles with Sanderson. Rogers wins the faceoff. Whalers gain the zone. For the Bruins, it's Westfall, Green, Sanderson, Ari, and Cashman. Howe skates across the blue line, sends it to Han Hangselbin. One-timer! Wide of Cheevers, battle behind the net. The Bruins have it. And quickly up ice they come. 
They work the puck to Cashman in the middle. Rogers trying to disrupt his shot. Cashman shoots and he scores! Oh, no! And here comes that sieve-like goaltending by the Whalers. It's now 3-1 to one in a blink of an eye here in Boston. The fans are enjoying it here at the Garden. That's the second of the year for Cashman. First assist for Sanderson and the first assist for Green. So the Whalers are down two with 3.01 to play in the first period. Douglas, Keehan, and Allenson up front. Roberts and Lee, your defensemen. We're going to play aggressive. Keehan does battle with Stanfield. Stanfield walk, knocks it towards Carlton. And it's a giveaway. The sloppy play. Whalers come up ice. The puck is worked from Douglas to Keehan. Now to Lee. Lee winds up. Slap shot. Allenson screening Cheevers. He cannot redirect. The puck goes to Ari. Up ice come the Bruins. Ari to Stanfield. Now to Rick Smith. Smith shoots. Save Garrett. Scrum in front of the net. Whalers have it. Whalers through center ice. It's Markow, DeBold, Antovich, Sims, and LaCroix battling Carlton in front of the net. DeBolt, a give and go. He has the puck. He shoots wide of Cheevers. And the puck. Goes up over the glass. It will be a face-off in the Bruins zone. With 1.58 to play in the first period. Stoughton, Rogers, Gordy Howe, Plum, and Mark Howe for the Whalers. We're going to play normal on the face-off. Rogers battles Derek Sanderson. Knocks it towards Gordy Howe. Howe sends it to his son Mark. Mark puts a shot wide of Cheevers. Boston takes possession up ice. They come a big hit. A big, big hit. Rogers nails Westfall and he comes away with the puck. Now he passes it to Plum. On the ice for the Bruins, Westfall, Dallas Smith, Derek Sanderson, Bobby Orr, and Cashman. An aggressive counterattack by the Whalers goes for not. They give the puck away and here come the Bruins looking to put up their fourth goal with under a minute to play in the thir first period. Westfall shoots wide of Garrett. Whalers win the puck behind the net. And again, they quickly come up ice. And again, they give the puck away. Bruins control. Now they work it into the zone. Hodge, Smith, Ari, Esposito. Esposito sends it to Busick. Busick takes a slap shot wide of Garrett. Anxious moments there for the Whalers. Plum with the puck. And again, up ice quickly come the Whalers. They lose the puck at center ice, but regain control. Allenson has it. As they regroup at center ice with 22 seconds left in the first period. They'll try to skate it in. They do. They work at the Kean behind the net. Kean's going to look for Douglas in the middle. Tough pass. He, he gets it through. Douglas shoots. Save. Puck is loose. Kean pokes at it. And he knocks it out. The Bruins knock it out to center ice. Markow. And there's the end of the first period. The Bruins put three past Garrett. The Whalers put one past Cheevers. Whalers with 12 shots. The Bruins with 11. Scoring chances dominated by the Bruins. They had 15, nearly doubling the Whalers, who only had eight. Block shots, six for the Bruins, five for the Whalers. Whalers were 0 for 2 on the advantage. The Bruins were 1 for 1 on the advantage. So 3-1. As we begin the second period, let's go to the let's go to the box score really quick, and we'll just give you the scoring. Whaler scored first. Allenson got his second, assisted by Douglas, his second, and Kean his third. And that came at the 4:40 mark of the first period. The Bruins would score the next three goals. Leach with his first of the year, assisted by Bailey. That was his first. Or got his first of the year, assisted by Johnny Busick, the chief. That was his fifth. And then Cashman got his second, assisted by Sanderson and Green, both their first assists. The or goal was on the power play. Back to center ice we go for the start of the second period. Garrett is on thin ice in net for the Whalers. Hartford will start with Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordy Howe up front. The defensemen are Mark Howe, his son, and Al Sims.
We're going to go aggressive. Esposito battles. Rogers wins the faceoff. But there's a giveaway, and the Bruins have it. They gain the zone. Busick sends a pass to Hodge. Point blank. Save, Garrett. And he covers it up. Holy cow. The Whalers were almost down 4-1. to one. For Hartford, Douglas, Roberts, Kean, Lee, and Allenson will do battle with the Bruins. We're going to play balance. We'll give you the Bruins once the puck drops. Kean loses the faceoff to Stanfield. Bruins set their offense. It's Carlton, Stanfield, McKenzie, Dallas Smith, and Bobby Orr. Dallas Smith from the blue line. Shoots wide of Garrett. Kean comes away with it for the Whalers. Whalers go balance. They get through center ice. The pucks work back to Kean behind the net. Not a lot of good options here. He's going to go with Douglas in the middle. But he cannot thread the needle, and he is hit before the pass can get off. Carlton comes away with the puck for the Bruins. Bruins trying to counter here, but a big hit at center ice. As Lee levels Esposito, and another big hit back and forth. A lot of hard hits here at the Garden. And Dallas Smith has the puck, and the Bruins will attempt to come up ice. They get through center ice, and they lose the puck. And the Whalers rush up ice. A delayed penalty. Gordy Howe has it, trying to bring the Whalers to within one. He shoots. Blocked by Smith. And there's the stoppage in play as Ari goes off. Four minutes for cross-checking. Four minutes for cross-checking and a lot of chirping from the Whalers bench. They're not happy with what they consider a horrible cheap shot. But the Whalers now have four minutes to try to put a goal in as the Bruins will be shorthanded. The power play for Hartford, Douglas, Johnson, Gordie Howe, Mark Howe, and Al Sims. The penalty kill once the puck drops. We're on the power play. Johnson battles Sanderson. The Whalers win the faceoff. They set up their power play. On the ice to defend the power play for the Bruins, Sanderson, Smith, Westfall, and Marcotte. Douglas has it out wide. He shoots. Cheevers with the save. Bruins fail to clear. The puck goes back behind the net to Johnson. Johnson looking, looking, looking. He's going to go for Gordy Howe, but he can't. A big hit. A huge hit. Smith plasters him. And then the Bruins are able to clear the zone. As Gordy Howe was crashing towards the net. But the puck never got there. As Rick Smith was making Johnston kiss the ice. Here come the Whalers. Johnston leads the power play charge. Through center ice. Give and go back to Johnston. Johnston's going to try to crash the net. Smith. And he loses the puck. Great defense by the Bruins. And again, the Bruins clear the zone. All the way down ice goes the puck. Whalers have to start once again. And there's 2.29 left on the penalty to Ari for cross-checking. Whalers work it in. Stoughton, Hagselbin, Rogers, and Roberts. Allenson is fed the puck from Rogers. Allenson shoots. It doesn't get through. The puck is not cleared. And they send it back to Allenson behind the net. So the Whalers trying desperately now to put a puck past Cheevers. On the ice for the Bruins. Dallas Smith, Sanderson, Marcotte, and Bobby Orr. Allenson weighing his options. will send it out to Hagselbin on the outside. The defenseman has it. He shoots. Blocked by Marcotte. Bruins try to clear and they do. Good job. And now the Bruins on the shorthanded. It's Sanderson. He's going to take the shot. And he's wide as Stoughton disrupts it. The Bruins quickly try to skate back. And here come the Whalers. 138 left on the penalty. Allenson winds up. He shoots. Scores! And now there's some pushing and shoving between Hagselbin and Hodges. Did they wave off the goal? Oh, my Lord. No goal. The net was off its moorings. And the tempers flared. That's where the pushing and shoving, that is a BS call. And boy, did the Bruins catch a break there. Wow. No goal. We stay at 3-1 to one Boston. 121 left on the penalty to Ari for cross-checking. What a bad break. 
for the Whalers as somewhere in Hartford they were queuing up Brass Bonanza and that came to an abrupt stop. On the power play for Hartford, Stoughton, Rogers, Allenson, Plum, and Lee. Here's the puck drop. Westfall and Rogers do battle. Bruins win it. They're going to try to clear the zone, and they do. It goes all the way down ice. Plum will launch the offensive. And sloppy play by the Whalers. Give the puck away, and again the Bruins clear it all the way down. Good job by Orr. And again sloppy play. And both teams are at full strength. The Whalers just seem to have come apart after the goal was nullified when the net came off the moorings. On the ice for the Whalers, we're at full strength. Fortiu, Hangselbin, DeBold, Warner, and Hodgson. For the Bruins, Busick, Esposito, Hodge, Rick Smith, and Ari. DeBolt with the puck. They try to get through center ice. They cannot. It's a giveaway. Bruins have it at the red line. And they try to work it in, but a good defense by the Whalers back and forth. Now, finally, the Whalers gain entry into the Bruins zone. Hangselbin, LaCroix, Diebolt, Hodgson, and Antovich. For the Boston Bruins, Hodge, Esposito, Rick Smith, Ari, and Busick. Hangselbin shoots a lot of traffic, and it skits through, but Cheevers is able to make the save. He covers it up. And there will be a face-off in the Boston zone. 12.45 to play in the second period. It is scoreless in the second period, but 3-1 to one overall in the favor of the Bruins. For the Whalers, the defensemen Roberts and Lee up front, Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordie Howe. This is the line that should put a puck possibly past Jerry Cheever's. Here's the puck drop and the faceoff. Stanfield wins it, knocks it back towards Dallas Smith. Bruins are a little too anxious as they quickly come up ice. They are whistled for offsides. Whalers send out to the ice. Fort to you, Johnston, Warner, Mark Howe, and Al Sims. We're going to go balanced. Sanderson wins the faceoff, knocks it towards Cashman. Bruins control the puck, and now it's poked away. Whalers have it. Mark Howe with the puck up ice they come, but they lose it at center ice. Sloppy play by Fortiu as Cashman checked him into the boards. And, excuse me, Dallas Smith checked him into the boards, and Cashman comes away with the puck. Bruins try to gain the zone. They do. Westfall, Cashman, Green, Sanderson battles Mark Howe in front of Garrett, in front of uh, the net. The puck's work to Ari. Ari shoots. Save by Garrett. Kean has the puck. Aggressive counterattack. But it's a giveaway. And it's going to be a rush by Cashman. He's closing in on Garrett. And he scores! And that's goal number four for the Bruins. And things are coming apart for the Whale. As the Bruins look to harpoon the Hartford Whalers. They're now up 4-1. to one. San, um, Cashman picks up his second goal of the year, assisted by Sanderson, his second. Wow. So it's 4-1. to one. And it, Not looking good for the Whalers. They need to mount some offense. Fort to you, Johnston, Warner, Hagselbin, and Hodgson for Hartford. We're going to go aggressive. Johnston does battle with Phil Esposito. Johnson wins it, knocks it back towards Hodges. Whalers work it into the zone, but the big hit by Dallas Smith. And Esposito comes away with the puck as Warner is a bit groggy. Bruins through center ice, gain the zone. Busick to Hodge to Esposito. Esposito shoots. Saved by Garrett. Whalers cannot clear. Hodge has the puck. And now... Hodge is surrounded, and Hodgson comes away with it. Bruins start to skate back on defense. Whalers come up ice in a balanced fashion. Do they gain the zone? No, they don't. No, they don't. Sloppy play once again, back and forth. A quick shot on Garrett. He makes the save. He covers up. And the faceoff will be in the Whalers' zone with 9.38 to play in the second period. Boston 4, Hartford 1. 
On the ice for the Whalers, Lacrux, DeBolt, Sims, Antovich, and Mark Howe. The puck drop. Mark Howe battles DeBolt. DeBolt knocks it to Lacrux. Up ice come the Whalers. Antovich had the puck behind the net. Sends it to DeBolt. DeBolt shoots. Blocked by Leach. Never got through to Cheevers. Bobby Orr has the puck for the Bruins. They get past the red line, but then it's poked away. Whalers quickly up ice. Lacrux works the puck to Debolt behind the net. Back to Antovich in the middle. Send it to Antovich in the middle, please. They have it. Antovich shoots. And Cheevers with a good save. He covers it up. And there's the whistle. 8.25 to play in the second period. 4-1 Bruins. Stoughton, Rogers, Gordie Howe, Hansel, Ben, and Hodgson for the Whalers. They do battle in the faceoff circle. Rogers knocks it to Howe. And knocked down by Green. Bruins have the puck. Gordie Howe's going to remember that. Up ice come the Bruins. They gain the Whalers zone. It's McKenzie, Smith, Stanfield, Carlton, and Ari. Carlton. To Ari, wrist shot, and Garrett with the save. A lot of traffic in front of that net. Face off in the Whalers end. 7.59 left in the second period. 4-1 Boston. The Whales, Lacrux, DeBolt, Sims, Antovich, and Markow. We go balance on the face off. DeBolt battles Busick. Busick knocks it towards Esposito. Who sends it to Orr? Now over to Hodge. Hodge shoots. Save Garrett. And there's the whistle once again. Another faceoff in the Whaler zone. Puck drop. Johnston and Esposito do battle. Johnston knocks it towards Lee. And they knock it too far down. It's icing as Cheevers puts his arm off. Up. And once again, a third faceoff in the Whaler zone with 7.25 to play in the second period. The Whalers on the ice for you, Roberts, Johnson, Lee, and Warner. Marcotte loses the faceoff. Whalers have it. They get through center ice. Now they work their offense. Fortio has the puck behind the net. On the ice for the Bruins, Smith, Leach, Marcotte, Bailey, and Ari. Ari and Warner going at it to the left of Cheevers. Fortio with the puck. He sends it to Johnston in the middle. Johnston, quick shot, save Cheevers. And now Roberts and Bailey, some pushing and shoving. But no penalty. The gloves didn't drop. 6.57 to play. In the second period, the Bruins are up by three. Rogers does battle with Stanfield. Wins the faceoff, knocks it towards Stoughton. Whalers lose the puck or comes away with it. Up ice come the Bruins. For the Bruins, it's Carlton as they had a line change. Carlton, Westfall, Stanfield, Green, and McKenzie. For the Whalers, Stoughton, Rogers, Sims, Gordie Howe, and Markow. McKenzie's fed the puck. McKenzie shoots, saved by Garrett. And the Whalers knock it out towards center ice. Bruins try to knock it back in, but the Whalers gain control. Line change pending. For the Whalers. As they just knock it down the other way. Big hit. Big hit by the Whalers. They take over the puck. But then they lose the puck again. Another big hit. In the Whalers zone. The Whalers are not giving up here. DeBolt has the puck. So up ice come the Hartford Whalers. Trying to gain entry into the Bruins zone. The Bruins. It's Hodge, Esposito, Smith. Ari and Busick. It's a give and go. Lacrux has it. Lacrux is going to try to penetrate. Zigzag shoots. Save. What a save by Cheevers. Bruins gain control. Try to get it out of their zone. And there will be a face off. Bruins a little too hard. And this time it's Garrett putting his arm up for the icing. So with 4.04 to play in the second period, it's 4-1 Boston. The Whalers sent out to the ice. Douglas, Kean, Allenson, Mark Howe, and Al Sims. We'll give you the Bruins in a moment. Kean and Esposito clash. Esposito knocks it towards Busick. And quickly up ice come the Bruins. They are called for offsides. 
Here's the faceoff. Mark Cut. Rogers. Mark Cut knocks it towards Leach. Smith. Mark Cut. Bailey. Orr and Leach. Mark Cut to Orr. Orr slides the pass to Leach. Leach shoots. Blocked by Mark Howe. Whalers poke it out to center ice. Now there's a big hit as Gordy Howe plants Dallas Smith. Rogers gets the puck. He races in. He's going to shoot. Gordy charging the net. But he cannot redirect. It's saved. Bruins control. Knock it out to center ice. A big hit. And now Fortiu gets a little chippy after the big hit. And he slashes. I believe he slashed Stanfield. And he's going to go out two minutes for slashing with 2.12 to play in the second period. The Bruins go on the power play. They're up 4-1, to one, looking to add more to that score. And they'd like to see Bobby Orr. That's what the fans want to see, Bobby Orr. The penalty kill for the Whalers. Things are looking gloomy for Hartford as the Bruins prepare the harpoon to end the Whalers' night. It's Key and Lee, Sims and LaCrux on the penalty kill. We'll give you the Bruins power play in a moment. We'll play clear. Sanderson wins the faceoff, knocks it back towards McKenzie. So McKenzie, Ari, Smith, and Stanfield along with Derek Sanderson. McKenzie behind the net, sends it to Sanderson. Sanderson, Sims closes. Sanderson shoots and it's blocked by Sims. Whalers poke it out to the red line. Bruins quickly gain control, regroup, and attack. The puck once again goes to McKenzie. He winds up. He shoots blocked by Lee. Whalers are unable to poke it out. Smith keeps it in. Smith winds up and shoots. Garrett with the save. Puck loose. Lee has it. And the Whalers will attempt to clear. And they do. Bruins will have to come up ice one more time. 37 seconds left on the penalty for slashing on Fortiu. Up ice come the Bruins. They lose it at center ice on the big hit by Mark Howe. Howe. It's going to be a rush. He slides it to Blaine Stoughton. Stoughton to shoot. Save! Holy cow. Oh, my Lord. What a save by Cheevers. 12 seconds left in the second period. Whalers thought they were going to cut this lead in half, but Cheevers stoned Stoughton. Face off in the Bruins zone. LaCrux, DeBolt, Antovich, Hangselbin, and Hodgson. Esposito and DeBolt do battle. DeBolt knocks it back towards LaCrux, and that ends the second period. It's 4 1 Boston. Shots. 10 for the Whalers, 9 for the Bruins. Scoring chances, 5 for the Bruins, 4 for the Whalers. Both teams blocked 3 shots, and both teams were scoreless on the power play. The Whalers had 2 opportunities and come away with nothing. The, the Bruins were 0 for 1. Final 20 minutes of hockey. The Whalers down by 3. To start the third period, it'll be Stoughton, Rogers, and Gordy Howe up front. Mark Howe and Al Sims are the defensemen. We're going to go aggressive. Esposito, Hodge, Busick up front. Smith and Orr, the defensemen for the Bruins. Whalers win the faceoff. Rogers slides the pass to Stoughton. Stoughton shoots. Gordy Howe tries to disrupt, but Cheevers makes the save. The puck's poked behind the net. Rogers comes away with it. Rogers, not a lot of good options here. We're going to try to pass. And he works the pass! It's a given goal as Rogers now gets the puck back from Sims. He's going to sh penetrate. He shoots. Save! Cheaters! Oh my lord! Another golden opportunity denied for the Whalers by Jerry Cheevers. 19:27 left in this game, 4-1 Boston. Fort to you, Johnston, Warner, and Hangselbin, and Hodgson on the ice for the Whalers. We're going to play normal. Stanfield loses the faceoff to Johnston. They work the puck behind the net, the Whalers do to Warner. 
For the Bruins, it's McKenzie, Green, Stanfield, Westfall, and Carlton. Not a lot of good options here. They're going to try to get it to the outside to Hodgson and hope that he can find it. Oh, but Warner's leveled behind the net. Carlton comes, comes away with the puck. Up ice come the Bruins, but they lose the puck. Fortiu has it along the boards. Whalers try to get to center ice. They lose the puck at center ice. Nice poke check by Hodgson, uh, by the Bruins, and they gain control. I think it was Green with a little poke check. Busick with the puck. They gain the Whalers' zone. But a good job by Stoughton. And now Hodges with a big hit. Esposito comes away with the puck. Hodges battling. Hodgson in front of the net. And Rogers. It's a scrum. Esposito shoots into traffic. Save. Somehow Garrett gets a save. Whalers have it. Up ice they come. They get through center ice. Howe feeds Douglas. Douglas shoots. Save Cheevers. And he covers it up. 17.09 to play in the game. 4-1 Boston faceoff in the Bruins zone. Douglas, Keehan, Allenson, Roberts, and Lee for the Whalers. They're down by three. They have to do something here. We're going to play normal on the faceoff. Sanderson, Keehan. Sanderson wins it, knocks it back to Smith. Bruins with the puck. But they lose it at center ice as it slides into the Whalers zone. Back and forth, a big hit by the Bruins. Sanderson kiboshes Allenson. But the Bruins over-anxious, and they are offsides trying to gain entry into the Whalers' zone. So here's the faceoff. Esposito and Rodgers. Rodgers knocks it back towards Stoughton. Whalers get through center ice. Stoughton sends it to Rodgers. Esposito closes. Rodgers shoots. Saved by Cheevers. The Whalers scored first, but have not scored again. With 15.53 to play in the game, Boston 4, Hartford 1. On the ice for the Hartford Whalers, Warner, Johnston, Fortiu, Roberts, and Lee, the Bruins, the Bruins in a moment. Marcotte, Orr, Smith, Bailey, and Leach. Bruins win the faceoff, but lose the puck at center ice. The puck goes back into the Hartford zone. Fortiu comes away with it. Whalers regroup. They work it into the Bruins zone. Johnson has the puck behind the net. He's going to look for Warner in the middle. Warner. Peck. The puck is intercepted by Marcotte. Bruins trying to counter. But a big hit at center ice by Hangselbin on Esposito. And the Bruins return the favor. And Busick with a pop feeds Hodge. Hodge skates into the zone. He shoots. Saved by Garrett. And there will be another face-off. The puck will be dropped in the Whalers' zone with 13.28 to play. Bruins in what seems to be total control right now. Whalers have had some opportunities but have not cashed in. Douglas, Plum, Key, and Mark Howe and Allenson on ice for the Whalers. Stanfield wins the face-off, knocks it back towards Orr. It's McKenzie, Smith, Stanfield, Carlton. Stanfield to Orr. Orr shoots. Scores! Bobby Orr, number four. That's his second of the game and of the season. So Bobby Orr is heating up. It's now 5-1 Boston. The assist will be from Stanfield and McKenzie, and both will have their third assist of the season. And the fans are loving it here in the Garden as the Whalers traveled east and are getting annihilated. The Harpoon is being ready to put through the whale. 5-1 Bruins, 13.08 to play. Lacrux, DeBolt, Antovich, Hangselbin, and Hodgson on the ice for Hartford. We're going to play balanced. Esposito, Hodge, Busick, Smith, and Orr. Esposito knocks it back to Hodge. Sloppy play. Bruins lose it in the Hartford zone. Lacrux comes away with it. They come up ice, given, and, the, you know, it's a hot potato. Esposito now has the puck for the Bruins in their zone. Bruins try to get to center ice. They can't. A big hit by Antovich on Esposito. They give the puck back to Antovich. It's a nice pass by Lacrux. Antovich shoots wide of Cheevers. 
Ari has it for the Bruins. 11.43 left in the game. Bruins. And they're offsides. Uh-oh. It's a penalty. I believe it's on Garrett because we have to pick a skater to choose. Wow, this is the first time this happened to me. Well, I don't want to take Gordie Howe off the ice. Uh, let's take Mark Plum off the ice. Why is Gordy Howe going out? Okay, it's Mark Plum. Mark Plum. And the Bruins are on the penalty. On the power play, excuse me. And the Whalers are on the penalty kill. It's going to be Stoughton, Lee, Fortu, and Sims. I believe because we had to choose a player that the penalty was on the goalie, Garrett. We're going to play clear. Esposito wins the faceoff. Knocks it back to the Chief, Johnny Busick. Busick winds up. He shoots. Blocked by Al Sims in front of the net. Whalers try to clear. They can't. Now Fortu gets the puck. And in fact, we're going to go aggressive. Fortu. Man down. Sends it to Al Sims. Sims shoots. Save. The puck trickles through the crease. Bruins have it. Whalers race back. Here come the Bruins on the power play. Westfield. Westfall field. Stanfield. Stanfield shoots. LaCrux battling McKenzie blocks it. Al Sims has it. And again, we're going to go aggressive. We're down. A big hit at center ice by the Bruins. They gain control. As Stanfield slides the pass to McKenzie. McKenzie under control. He has a good look, but it's blocked by Sims. He goes diving at the puck. Hangselbin has it. Again, the Whalers will it counterattack shorthanded, but they're a little too anxious, and the penalty is done. So the Whalers fight it off, but they're still down 5-1 to one with under 10 minutes of play here in Boston. A mighty task for the Hartford Whalers here. You could say Herculean. It's LaCrux, DeBolt, Antovich, Hangselbin, and Hodgson. We're going to go aggressive. Marcotte loses the faceoff. DeBolt knocks it back to LaCrux. They gain the zone, but they lose the puck behind the net. Bruins... Quickly up up ice. They lose the puck. Back through center ice come the Whalers. Whalers with the puck. Hodgson feeds Hagselbin. Hagselbin's going to wind up and shoot. Oh, Cheevers with the save. Orr and Keen battle in front of the net. Stanfield comes away with it with the Bruins. They're going to try to clear. Now they cleared. Actually, they get to center ice. And now into the Whalers zone. Carlton... Takes the pass from McKenzie. Carlton shoots. Saved by Garrett. Puck is loose. Rebound goes to the Whalers. Up ice come the Whalers. Kean through the neutral zone. Sends it to Allenson. Allenson looking to shoot. Carlton closing on him for the Bruins. Allenson shoots. And he is wide of Cheevers. Smith with the puck for the Bruins. 7.07 left in the game. A big hit by the Whalers at center ice. Roberts plants Sanderson. There's some chippy words. And now Ari. Ari nails Stoughton. Oh, my Lord. The puck goes to Smith. The Bruins have it. And there's a hit. And Gordie Howe has seen enough. He is called for the two minutes for roughing. Gordie Howe trying to lay the law down as he nails Esposito. 6-11 left in the game. The Bruins are ahead 5-1. to one. On the penalty kill for Hartford, Mark Howe, Kean, Roberts, and LaCrux. We'll give you the power play in a moment. We're going to play clear. Esposito, Busick, Hodge, Ari, and Smith. Kean wins the faceoff, but there's a huge hit as the Whalers cannot clear the zone. Busick sends it to Hodge. Hodge shoots on Garrett. The save. Puck loose in front of the net. Esposito has it. Esposito loses it. As Mark Howe picks his pocket. And we're going to go aggressive on short man. But we give it away. Bruins gain the zone once again. Esposito picked Howe's pocket. And now he shoots. And Howe blocks it. He dives at Esposito. Roberts with the puck for the Whalers. We're shorthanded. Again we go aggressive. Shorthanded. Roberts skating down. Zigzagging between Busick 
And Esposito, Lacrux battling Smith in front of Cheevers. We're looking for the redirect. No! And Cheevers, with all that traffic in front of the net, saves at 4-11 left in the game. Dave Gardner here in Boston says, how nice is hockey? He says, hockey is nice. So remember to check out Digital to Dice on Spreaker and also on the Dave Gardner's YouTube channel, HockeyTournaments.com, and of course, the Facebook group, Digital to Dice, because it makes everything nice. Both teams back at full strength now, as the Whalers kill the penalty, the roughing on Gordie Howe. It's Fort to you, Johnson, Warner, and Hangselbin, and Hodgson for the Whalers. They trail by 4-5-1 Bruins. Marcotte, Johnson, Marcotte wins a faceoff, knocks it back towards Dallas Smith. Up ice come the Bruins. It's Dallas Smith, Bobby Orr, Leach, Marcotte, and Bailey. Marcotte sends a puck to Dallas Smith. He has a great look. Leach screening Garrett. The shot by Dallas Smith. He is wide. Leach could not redirect. Fortiu comes away at the puck, skates behind the net. Here comes an aggressive counterattack by the Whalers. They gain the zone. But lose the puck. Bailey has it for the Bruins. And there's a whistle. As the Bruins iced it. Looks like they're changing lines. 2.34 left in the game. It looks like a victory for the Boston Bruins here. It's 5-1 Boston. My beloved Whale look to be going down to defeat. Once again, our shoddy goaltending. <laughs> Though we somehow have won two games in the best of the 70s league. Puck drop. Johnson. Marcotte. Marcotte wins it for the Bruins. Knocks it towards Westfall. Bruins skate up ice. They give it away. That was a little poke check. Puck goes to Garrett. He'll pass it out. Quickly up ice come the Whalers, but they lose the puck as it slides off the stick of Lacroix. Green in possession for the Bruins. Under two to play. And there's a whistle. But... The whistle is just for a two-line pass. Sims just got destroyed, but there's no penalty with 150 to play. It's not like Garrett was actually playing goalie. We're going to pull him. And we're going to bring in Mike Rogers as the extra skater. So it's empty net with a minute 50 to play as the Bruins... Or, I'm sorry, the Whalers try to make it respectable. DeBolt wins a faceoff from Marcotte. Hangselbin is going to pass to Rogers on the outside. Rogers shoots, and he is wide. And it goes up over the glass out of play as Orr actually got a stick on it. So the faceoff will be in the Bruins zone, 140 left. Rogers, the extra skater. Johnson and Marcotte once again do battle. Johnson wins it, knocks it back towards Warner. Rogers with the puck. He shoots wide of Cheevers again. And again, it gets deflected over the ice. It looks like Cheevers got a piece of it. 135 left in the game. DeBolt and no, it's Lacroix. And DeBolt's pushed from the onside, uh, the faceoff circle. And the Bruins are able to clear to center ice. Whalers gain the zone. Fort to you, Johnson, Mark Howe, Mark Rogers. Al Sims and Warner for the Bruins. Leach, Smith, Bailey, Marcotte, and Orr. They look for Rodgers on the outside. Rodgers winds up. He shoots wide. He shoots wide, and the Bruins knock it down into the Whalers zone. No icing. Quickly up ice come the Whalers. 118 left. Hangselbin winds up. He shoots. Puck is loose, but they can't knock it past Cheevers. It's now banged behind the net. DeBolt for the Whalers comes away with it. DeBolt looking for Rodgers. Rogers has it. Rogers shoots. And Antovich shoots. Come on, Antovich. He can't. Rogers has it. Rogers will send it to DeBolt. A little pass. DeBolt shoots. Save. Unbelievable. We can't get anything past Cheevers. Under a minute to play. A big hit by the Whalers. Rogers destroys Westfall. He wins the little battle, but they will lose the war. Antovich comes away with it. Whalers. Gain the zone. Antovich takes it behind the net. 53 seconds left. Looking for Rogers. He gets plastered. 
The pass never gets there. The Bruins have it. Uh, big hits go back and forth as Antovich plants a Bruin. Rogers has the puck. Rogers will shoot. Scores! Mike, uh, Rogers scores. It's now 5-2 to two, Boston. That's the second goal of the year for Rogers. The fourth assist by LaCroix. Maybe we should have played with six men the whole game. Marcotte loses the faceoff. Warner has it. Rogers gets the puck quickly. He shoots. Oh, he almost put another one in. Smith has the puck. He's nailed. It's a rush for the Whalers as they gain it at the red line. We're going to go with the rush. Fourth to you coming in on Cheevers. Score! Whalers! And it's now 5-3, to three, but time is short. Only 17 seconds. The Whalers not giving up. Six men on the ice. Esposito trying to win this faceoff and end it. He wins the faceoff. It's a big hit by Kean on Hodges. One last charge for the Whalers. Gordy Howe behind the net. Howe goes to Kean in the middle. They lose the puck and that is it. A frenetic charge by Hartford comes to an end. 5-3 to three victory for the Bruins. But boy, did the Whalers give it their all. At least they made the game respectable in garbage time. Funny, in an empty net with an extra skater, we don't give up a goal. We have a goalie in there. Our goalies stink. But it's 5-3. to three. Here are the third period team stats. 15 shots for the Whalers. 6 for the Bruins. 7 scoring opportunities for the Whalers. They would cash in twice. Bruins had 6 chances. Whalers blocked 3 shots. The Bruins won. Both teams were zip on the power play. Well, the Whalers didn't have a power play. The Bruins were 0 for 2. Let's hit continue. Game is over. Yes, we know. Let's go to the scoring, because to be honest with you, I don't know any of those stats. <laughs> the Bruins, well, here's what happened. The Whalers scored first and last. The Bruins scored a lot in the middle, and they won. A big first period basically did the Whalers in, as the Bruins would score three times. Hartford scored first. Allenson picked up his second of the season in the best of the 70s league, assisted by Douglas his second, and Kean his third. The Bruins would score the next one, two, three, four, five goals. Three in the first, one in the second, and one in the third. Leach got his first, assisted by Bailey, and that was his first. Or would score two goals in this game. His first came in the first period at the 16-18 mark on the power play, assisted by Busick, and it was the Chiefs' fifth. Cashman got his second goal, even strength at the 1659 mark as they went bing bing and put two past Garrett. As there must have been a hole in his glove and his stick. Again, that was his third, assisted by Sanderson, which was his second. Or would pick up his second goal. Actually, Cashman got two. I missed that. He picked up uh, his third in the second period, assisted by Sanderson. That's his second. Or picked up his second goal of the game and of the season. Uh, 652 mark of the third period, assisted by Stanfield. It was his third, McKenzie, his third of the year. Then Rogers scored his second, assisted by LaCroix, his fourth. That was at the 1924 mark. And then the Whalers did it again on a rush. Fort to you, put it past Cheevers, his second goal, and Sims' second assist. But a little too late, the Bruins defeat the Whalers as Hartford falls 5-3 to three here in the Boston Garden. As Dave Garner says, the Orr games are always fun. He says, it's a junket broadcast. <laughs> John Saragin, a big Whalers fan, said, Hartford's comeback is a tad too late. Yes, it was. Well, anyway, I said I'd do a hockey game for Uncle Dave Gardner a few, was it last week? And we had it set up, and we get it up on the channel as we are finishing up our 1972 football season using Pro Strategy Football 2021. If you have it and you want to have a fun time, you got to catch one of our Boston Yanks streams. Or if you want to watch it on replay, that's cool. They're fun. 
They're a bad team from the 1948 NFL season. Um, Ahmad created an NFL AAF league, which is the NFL teams and the All-American Conference teams, and it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much. i like to say thank you to Dave Gardner, John Sarajan, Golden Eagle 99, Gillis Thibault. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope everyone enjoyed. Health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. Whalers go down to defeat in Boston 5-3. to three. Hats off to the Bruins. Bobby Ord, number four, scored two goals, so that's kind of cool. I always like, I mean, the Bruins are right there with the Whalers, but I have a soft spot for the Whalers, so when they play each other, I play as the Whalers. Other than that, I play as the Bruins and the Whalers in the league. So, once again, thank you very much. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace! Love you all.